Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. We just wrapped up the second leg of the 2012 expedition, and here are the highlights. Nautilus spent 14 days exploring the Anaximander Seamounts off the southern coast of Turkey. Located along the intersection of the African and Eurasian plates, the three underwater seamounts that make up this range are home to mud volcanoes several thousand meters below sea level, and the team explored five of them in this area. We took sediment core samples and a variety of biological samples. The team also used Hercules' multi-beam sonar, lasers, and high-resolution cameras to map the sea floor. Back on shore, pictures of these areas will be overlaid on depth maps. That'll help scientists better understand the relationship between the geology and the biology of an area. On a few of the dives, Hercules was outfitted with a special mass spectrometer to sample cold seep areas for a variety of dissolved gases, including those that support chemosynthetic life. The most fascinating dive of this leg, though, was the last one, on the Athena mud volcano. The carbonate crust formations were massive and harbored all kinds of life. We saw blue bacterial mats, fish, squid, and of course, lots of tube worms. Two creatures in particular were happy to show us their eating habits. Here is a crab shoveling in some bacteria, and here is a spiny lobster chowing down on an unidentified creature. This leg, though, was not without its challenges. Early on in one of the dive, Argus's cylinder failed, letting in some water to his electronic brain area. Luckily, we were close enough to the surface that the team was able to recover, and after several hours of hard work by the ROV crew, Argus will suffer no lasting damage. The team was also able to enjoy a couple of moments of relaxation. Two swim calls and several birthdays happened during this leg. We hope you enjoyed this peek behind the science. For more, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, you can always join the expedition live right here at nautiluslive.org.